And we are back, everybody. It is another beautiful, warm, sunny afternoon. The birds are chirping outside. I've got my windows open, so hopefully you can hear them. But it is time that I hammered down and took care of this. This, I'm talking, get out of my way. This is my basket of square and rectangle images. And I am sure that a lot of you have heard me mention a number of times over the past several months that I need to organize these. And I haven't done it yet. Well, now, today, we are starting it. I'm getting it, I'm getting it started. It's like, I, I need to. This basket is so full and chaotic. And I'm like, it has to be done. We have to, we have to do something. Something has to be done. So we're just gonna at least get it started. If it's started, maybe, you know, it'll be easier to work with it in the future. So I'm going to organize these the same way that I did my fussy cuts. So this is my, this is my binder of fussy cuts. And how I did it was I had these uh, plastic, you know, page protectors. And then I just stuck a plain old piece of computer paper, white computer paper, computer paper inside. <clears throat> and then I would, I used both sides and I would just write down the, um, the name of the, uh, the topic or the subject or whatever. And I could use uh, two sides. So I have two sides that I could use. And so they're going to be organized kind of just like how this is. I don't have a binder for them yet, so I'm just going to do them and just set them aside somewhere. I don't know where, but yeah, this is the same concept. They're going to be done just like the fussy cuts, but they're going to be squares and rectangle images. So it's time. Let's get started. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to start with a lone piece of paper. And we're going to slide this into my page protector like a soul. Now, I don't know what subject I'm going to use yet. So, all right. What do we got to start with? I'm just going to grab a couple images. Just grab a couple and see what we got here. Okay, let's see. I have no idea what that is. Oh, here's a good one to start with. Food. Uh, lots and lots of food images. Oh, my gosh. Okay, but I've got food that's like already kind of put together and then I've got kind of individual food like this is, um, what is this? Uh, oh, I know what it is. I just can't think of the name of it. Rhubarb. So rhubarb is, what is that, a fruit? So I could, because it's just by itself, I could stick this like with fruit and then see like these are already like put together meals. So this would be considered, you know, like the food. I'd have fruits and vegetables. I'd have like desserts or a candy and you know lots of lots of different food topics but the, the ones that are like meals like this I'm going to consider as food so let's go ahead and write down food as our first one because there's going to be a lot of them all right we'll just slide those right on in and then on the other side I probably will start with um Fruit. Rhubarb is a fruit, right? I mean, it tastes like a fruit. It's sweet like a fruit. It is a fruit, is it? I have no idea. You guys can correct me later and I'll take it out and stick it with something else if it's not a fruit. What is a, what is rhubarb? What is it considered? What is rhubarb considered? I have no idea. All right, so there we go. We got it started. Yay, we have officially started. It's officially started. Okay, all right. Let's sit. get this set aside and we'll get another one going here. <clears throat> Let me see. I guess what really prompted me to want to do this is um, I really wanted to work in my spring glue book. And so I've got a lot of really good spring and like, you know, images in here, but they're just all mixed in. And I thought, you know, I was going to be going through this, pulling out all of the spring images to begin with. So I thought I might as well just, you know, start and organize it now. Like here's here's a, a topic. We're gonna do birds. And we can do animals. I don't know if I want that in specific animals. Oh, here's another 
Here's birds. See, like, these pretty flowers. I might stick that under. Then the flowers can go under the category flowers or spring. And that's the same with the birds, too. I think a lot of these came from our Birds and Blooms magazine. So, should I do an actual spring kind of um topic or should I just keep it separate with like flowers and birds and then just you know pick out what I think is spring worthy do you think I probably should, I might just do that I might just do that because it's I think it's just be easier because then you got then I'm not putting so much into the spring because so many you know so many things can go for spring like you know, flowers and birds and I don't want to stick all of those together I want to keep them you know separate so we got birds and then we'll do flowers. All right, here we go. I love organizing. I love organizing. This just puts me in my happy place. And boy, do I need a happy place right now. Today at work was madness. I am exhausted and sore, which kind of sucks when you got a job that's like that. And then you've got a beautiful glorious day outside where you just want I want to go outside so badly but it's like I have no energy I am I am so tired I it's like I want to so badly but it's like that's gonna take time and effort it's like I'm only gonna barely have enough energy just to take out my trash and recycling for today I'm like, I don't want to go outside yet it's so beautiful I want to but yeah it's like can I just sit down on the couch and not move? I've been moving constantly all day today. There was no like rest period whatsoever with my job today. It would not let me. It wouldn't let me. So I'm tired and it's like, like what do you do? What, what do you do in, in situations like that? When it's like, it's so beautiful outside. Like you never know if you're going to have another beautiful day like this, but at the same time, like it's, you know, it's spring and it's, you know, um, going to be warm enough. You're going to have lots of beautiful days like this. It's like, you should get outside and enjoy it. It's like, say, I can't like, I'm too sore and tired. Now, should this just be under animals or I might just stick it under animals. I can always, if I get too many animals, then I'll separate them. Like, I might actually have categories for, like, cats and dogs, because those are, like, a very specific animal. But for an animal like this, where it's, like, a chipmunk, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of chipmunk images. So, I'm going to stick it under animal. Because, and if I do get a whole ton of chipmunk images, then I will sort out into an actual chipmunk category. But in the meantime, it'll just be an animal. Okay, what's next? I'm trying to figure out here, what have we got? Okay, now if you got a nest of um, eggs, I'd put that under birds. I'd put that under birds. Oh, here we got another bird here. Ooh, we got some food. Ooh, here's some more eggs. All right, we've got a couple more categories here. We got food. I can take care of the food. And then we got an image here that's got a butterfly and a flower. I'm going to sort this into a category for butterflies because the butterfly is like the, the focal image. Plus, we're going to have a crap ton of pictures of flowers anyways. So I'm going to have a, a butterfly one. So because there is a butterfly in the picture with the flower, I'm going to do that. This gorgeous image, I'm going to sort into a fall category because of just, you know, the color and the scenery. It could be sorted into, you know, like, I don't know, just beautiful scenery. Or if you wanted to separate into like airplanes or like, like vehicle kind of stuff, you can. But I'm going to go do a fall category with this one. And I got this here. It's just a random color piece. So I'm going to put this under like the color red because it's mostly red in there. And then you got this really gorgeous scenery. So I'm trying to think what a good category for this would be. Because I think I got a bunch of images that are just really pretty scenery. I don't know if I want to categorize it into mountains. Or if I should, you know, I'm going to set that one aside and we're going to think on that one. We're going to think on that one. So got to get these categories taken care of. Let's see. I'm going to put down a butterfly. That's what we need. We need butterfly oh I can't wait to find butterflies oh 
I'm hoping that I can find me some monarch butterflies. I'm really hoping so. Okay, let's see. Let's take care of the birds next. Put the birds away. Then we gotta get the food. This makes me so happy. I love organizing things. I love putting stuff all in your know, just separate categories, easy to find. But then, of course, I also like a little bit of, you know, messy chaos, too. Like, I'm not going to sort all of them. Like, in the future, I will have an actual basket of just a mishmash of images. But I'm going to have so many images, I might as well sort, like, half of them and maybe leave the other half in a crazy chaotic mess. Because I kind of like, I like both. I like to have a bit of organization, and I like a little bit of chaos. So like when there are moments where I want to do something random or mystery like, then I want to go for like the chaos. Or if I am working on a specific topic or subject or anything like that, I want the organization. So it works both ways for me. Now it all depends on you too. If you like having everything organized and easy to find, then by all means organize the shit out of your stuff. Go for it. Hey, nobody stopping you. You do you, boo. But if you don't want to have your stuff organized, or if that's just, you know, not your jam, or it's going to take too long, there's nothing wrong with that. At least organize it enough to where you have, like, fussy cuts and squares and rectangles, you know, sorted, or, like, full pages. You know, at least that kind of, you know, level of organization. A little bit, a little bit of that is okay, and I would highly recommend that. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure what category we should put this under. I might just hold on to it until maybe I find more images that would go with it. Okay, I got this. This is a really cool picture. I've ha I've actually held on to this picture for a really long time because it's so pretty. It's like some really cool rustic winter boots with some knitted sweaters in the back. This might be a good, like, winter image. I'd, I'd consider this a good winter image. So let's go ahead and get a winter category. And I want to say, I have a feeling I've already got a winter category somewhere. Like I've already started sorting, you know, when I was working on the winter glue book, but I can't remember where I put those. So we're just going to start another one. It's totally fine. We can always cross that off and do another one. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, oh here's a couple more winter images. I'm going to go ahead and just toss those. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, here's a... All right, so we got a nice little image here of a, a lady, and she's, like, doing some gardening. So... Hmm. Do I want to put that under gardening? I don't know if I'm going to find too many more images like that. I could put this under an image of, like, people... Like, should I, should I do that? Or maybe occupations. What about that? Like, because, you know, a gardener is an occupation, right? Should I do something like that? Anyway, let me know in the comments, guys. What would what, you think? Should I do, like, a garden or occupation or, like, people? Like, would this image be good for, like, people because there's people in it? Like, would these go good together, like, as just people? Or, I don't know. Let me know. I'll hold on to them until I find maybe more that can go with it or something. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. We got a big flower and some more birds. Let's go ahead and find... We have birds. Birds here. Flower here. Now, I don't have any of my categories, you know, like an alphabetical order or anything like that. So, uh, trying to uh, find them. Like, what's in the back of this one? Oh, butterfly. Okay, I was going to say... All right, what else do we have? Oh, see, so we got this is a uh, could either be under animals or um, because that's, that's a little there's a little kid there kind of hidden behind the hidden behind the donkey. So, um, you know, I might stick it under animals because the donkey seems to be like the main focal point of the uh, the image. I think it's funny and cute. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it under animals. 
All right, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, oh looky, we have kitty. We got to do a cat category, 100%. We have to do a cat. Cat. Again, I feel like there are, I have something already organized somewhere. I don't know. But there we go. Oh, and then we have an image like this. This kind of goes along something along the lines like this. Why do I, why do I feel like they go together? I, it almost, it's almost like, okay, hear me out. Can you kind of see how you like, you got the sun reflecting in the picture? You almost got those crazy like little sunbeams that are kind of showing up in the picture. And that's what I am mainly drawn to. So I don't know, should that be the category? Something, something with a sun, like sunbeam or like, just reg regular sun or should I do like nature scenes? I don't, I don't know guys. Oh, um, that's, that's another thing that's kind of can be challenging is figuring out, you know, like topics, what to, what to categorize it under. What would you categorize it under? All right. Grab another little handful of things here. What do we got? Okay. This could be something under... When I see this, I think rustic. Something, you know, like cabin, rustic, vintage. Okay, we got a picture of a house. We can put this under house. We can put that under a category of house. Let's go ahead and get another sleeve prepared for some more categories. I got so many images, guys. This could this could take me forever. We're not gonna sit here and do this this entire time. It's just getting started, okay? It's just getting started. We're just, you know, gotta get, you know, the little, little nudge in that right direction. Okay, I got house. All right, we got flowers. Oh, this is Halloween. Awesome. All right, we got Halloween. Ooh, looks like we got more. Food images. I got a lot of cute little, a lot of tiny ones too. A lot of little tiny food images, which are just so cute. Actually, that one is a beverage. So I'm going to put a category of like drinks and beverages. So I keep that one separate. Okay. This one I'm going to categorize under the winter one. Even though there's like an animal and people in there, it's mainly the main focus of this is it's winter snow. Ooh, and then we got more food. Okay, so it's going to be food there. So let's see. We have, let's see, a couple categories we need to figure out. So I'm going to set the categories we need to do aside, and I'm going to take care of these ones right now. So winter has got to be put away. We need to put away the food and the flower. Where did the flower go? The food. Okay, food's here. It'll be a lot easier once I actually have like a binder to put these all in. I don't have that yet. Okay, flowers come in this side. These are really pretty flowers. This will just make it so much easier when I actually want to pull out my, my spring glue book and work on that, which I have not done in a hot minute, and I apologize. I feel like that's something I really need to work on. All right, we're going to do Bev. How do you spell beverages? Bev, B E V E beverages. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. We're just we're rolling with it. Okay, now let's see. We got two more here. We need a Halloween. We need Halloween. And what do I want to do for that one? Should I do vintage, rustic? <sighs> Vintage and rustic kind of go together. I could put them together, I guess. Halloween. There we go. Okay. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I'm thinking when I see it, I do think of like vintage, kind of. Like vintage decoration, really. Hmm. Maybe. 
I'm just gonna stick it vintage. I'm gonna put down vintage. I can always take it out if I don't feel that it is vintage and stick it under something else. But, all right, we got quite a lot of, there's gonna be so many categories, you guys. There's going to be so many. Oh, all right, we got another bird and we got some more flowers. Oh, we got dog. I love this image so freaking much. This is so stupid cute. I definitely got to save this image for something really special. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? Rude. Don't interrupt your mother. I apologize for my son's interruption. Loud, obnoxious little fur boy. Can't, can't do no work. You can't work. Nope. Not when you have a fur baby. They have to let you know very loudly that they are, they are large and in charge. Absolutely. Or they're just, you know, saying, hey, you're crazy for talking to yourself. <laughs> dog. We have dog. We have dog. This is so cute. Here we go. Okay. Now, let's see. What else do we need? What else do we have? Oh, here's a good one. I actually like to save a lot of these, too. Comics. These funny comics. I love saving little comics out of some of those magazines. So. <laughs> I like this one. This one's funny. You can substitute broccoli for the asparagus. But you can't substitute another glass of wine for the fries. <laughs> They're so funny. I love them. They're awesome. Okay, let's pull out some more here. Another small little handful. What have we got? Ooh, food. More food. Food. Birds. Oh, and here's another. Here's another one that really goes with this one. Maybe I should actually do a category that includes mountains because these are mountains. They, they, these are, these are, these are really awesome. I'm gonna set those aside. Most likely, I will do a mountain category. Okay, food and birds. Just had the birds. There's the bird, and then the food. All right, let's pull out a few more. I'm kind of digging to the bottom too. I'm just kind of digging out. Pull out a small little handful. All right, what have we got? Food or flowers. Uh, bathroom stuff. Okay, all right. Ooh, a hammock. <gasps> Beautiful outdoorsy picture. I'm not sure yet. <gasps> Ooh. That's a really cool picture. Oh, man. I have, like, a word for that, but I can't think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. All right, let's look at what flowers. Okay, that's a, that's a Mia. Flowers. We have, I don't know what to put the hammock under. I could put it down as outdoors, nature. The thing is, a lot of things could go under nature. I don't want to do just nature because too many things could go in the category of nature. I need specifics. Like, I need a category for this. I'm going to have to set that one aside. Okay, but this one... We could put down bathroom. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure I might find more images of bathrooms. I mean, you can find some really gorgeous pictures of beautiful bathrooms. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a funny one. Okay, we need food and flowers. Here's food. Flowers. Go to the back of the birds. There we go. <sighs> Do I want to categorize this under bathroom? Yes, because I think this is a bathroom image as well. I think so. I think these are these are like bathroom images. Okay, I guess we're gonna do a bathroom category. I mean, why not? 
Why not? Let's do, let's do a bathroom category. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, I mean, well, if I'm going to do a bathroom category, I'm going to do a mountain category because, you know, I've got some, I've got some mountain pictures here. I'm going to do mountains. Apologize for my rough chicken scratching writing. I'm just doing this quick and, you know, I'm not really. Okay, should we keep going? Do we have a little more time? I'm getting hungry, you guys. I need to have dinner and I have no idea what to have. I do not feel like cooking anything. I'm, I'm too warm. I want something that's kind of just, you know, cool and refreshing. So a bowl of cereal actually kind of sounds good, you know? Maybe I might have to go for just a simple bowl of cereal because it's quick and easy. It's refreshing. It actually sounds pretty good. And you know, I actually have, I have milk. I think I wanted cereal last week. I ran out of milk, so I couldn't. So I was like, I have milk. All right, well, maybe we can do, get quick, two more categories. Let's get one more, one more sleeve done. We'll find two more categories. And then we will call it an evening and say, yay, we have officially started the organization of this. I just need to get me a binder for them. I thought I had one. I could have swore I had a binder for this. I Like I saved one, but I don't know where I put it. Okay, it's somewhere. I, I know it's somewhere. I gotta find it. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's see. We got food. Now, when I see this kind of picture, I think of summer. Like this, this screams summer to me. So maybe I might stick this under, although a lot of things go under summer. Maybe I should put this under like water or plain. I, I don't know. Gosh, I'm not sure. I have no idea what that is. I think that's, I'm going to put that under like a color category. And I've got this. I might stick this under a category called travel. Because when I see something like this, it kind of says, you know, traveling. And I might, that might be a travel category. Mm, I'm not sure. Some of those I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to set them aside until I figure something out. <gasps> Puppy! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got birds. We got my flower. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm going to stick this under a category of just bugs. Just bugs, because, you know, he's kind of like the main focal point here. I'm not going to, like, worry about the flower. Bugs. Okay, so we need a category of bugs. Where'd my pen go? Hiding it in the pictures here. All right. Bugs. No, I actually found a praying mantis once, one of those big, big ones. Tried to save him, but a co-worker of mine squashed him. Hated him. Has hated his guts for that. Okay. Mama is busy. Shush. Okay, we gotta find where the dog went. There's the dog. We gotta put the dog. We're gonna put the puppy. We're gonna put the puppy in. He's so cute. Okay, we need another. Okay. This could go under flowers, I guess. We've got some more winter images here. Winter. Gotta find the winter. Is it in the front or the back? I think it's in the front. Oh, wait, winter, there it is. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, let's finish. Holy flowers. Oh. Animals. Ooh, okay. We have a church here. I might put this under like a category of buildings. Is that, a, is that an okay category, you think? Here's some more winter. Ooh, this one. This is actually would be a cool um category called art. You know, because like, he's, he's painting an art thing. Got a lot of good categories I could come up with here. So we can do buildings. We can do art. What is this one? Um... It's a purse. We could do purses. Here's another nature scene. Actually, I might stick this with this one. I can consider it kind of like rivers. 
rivers or streams, actually. Those would actually be a good one. So we got, let me see here. I might do the buildings. Let's go ahead and just do buildings. So, yep. Do I want to do buildings? I mean, or should I stick this under religion instead? Because this is a church. So I religion instead? Gosh, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to do an easier one. I'm going to do an easier one. Purse. <laughs> I'm going to do purse. It's an easier one to figure out. Because, I mean, it is. It's, it's, it's purse. All right, there we go. We're done. We're done for today. That's enough. That's enough organizing my my brain. It'll be easier once I actually like have all the categories like figured out, and I can just you know take them and just start stuffing, just going going crazy. But right now it's also going through and figuring out what kind of categories I want. Like, what does this image go under? What am I feeling like? Should I go under colors or should I go under something else? Because, you know, some images can go under multiple categories or can be considered multiple different things. So it's, see, like with this, this house, now I'm thinking instead of doing house, I might do buildings and put that church in with this one. So, see, I, things can change. Things can totally change. I got Halloween in there. That's vintage, and we got animals. We've got fall and winter, and we got butterfly. And we got a color in there as well. So yeah, and I, this is only just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. This basket is full, and I still have a mountainous stack of magazines to go through. So it's nowhere near close to being done, which is why I really want to get these organized because this could get, you know, out of control, crazy, very full, very fast. So yeah, gotta gotta work with this. Gotta work with this. Lots of lots of gorgeous pictures in here. It's like, oh see, look at that. I don't know if I put that under a category of like maybe travel. That would probably be a good category under travel. Yep, that would be a good one to travel. And then you got this one. The seals. Oh my gosh. So many good images. And then I've got an image of what looks to be masking tape. Okay. Another cr crazy uh, comic. Here's some more mountains. Oh, delicious. I love, I love cutting out these kind of pictures. They're so pretty. Beverages. We got some more puppies. A cute little tiny one here. This one I might categorize under the color green, only because I don't really know what else to categorize this under. A table decor? I don't know. I know that's a, a moth, but I'd stick it under butterfly. Ooh, now this one would be considered under dessert. Dessert. And this I would stick under vintage again because it looks it looks vintage to me. It's something that's vintage. And then we've got what looks like um, envelopes. Don't know yet. We'll figure it out. We have flowers. We got some more doggies. We have a bird. And then this probably would be under a category of people because that's the main that's the main focus. It looks like she is grooming a horse in the foreground but when you look at it it's like that that's the main main picture is the person so that might be under like a people category all right guys there i have officially done it i have officially started organizing my square and rectangle images i am super happy i have got a long ways to go so just bear with me i know i've got a binder somewhere to stick these in i know i do somewhere it's somewhere i'll find it <laughs> So the next time we go through these, uh, there may be a binder for them. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Well, I'm going to go get me some dinner because I'm hungry and I'm tired. I still got to take out the trash and recycling. I have to go buzz out and get gas in my car yet. I wanted to get gas on my way home from work, but 
the line was so insanely long. It's like, nope, nope, let's give it a couple hours until the rush hour dies down. So I still have to head back out and get some gas. And it's just so beautiful outside, too, you guys. I really, I should really, like, get my hammock out or something so I can go and sit in it. At least be outside, but not do anything, you know? I don't know. All right. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, everybody.